Okay, once again, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn regarding about the TRB, what we call the training record book to be used on your vessel. So first, we have to know the introduction for the engine cadet on board 500 gross tonnets or more or on seagoing ship powered by the main propulsion machinery of 750 kilowatts propulsion power or more under the regulations of 3-1 of the TCW Convention 1978 as amended. So the purpose of this uh, onboard training workbook for engine cadet is to ensure that the cadets on board the training record books are properly documented by means of the workbook in conjunction with the record written of the training record book journal as an output completed this workbook and shall be reflected on the journal. So the workbook will be evaluated by the Maritime Education and Training Center as one of the documentary evidence and accomplishing the requirements of the board training record book issued by the school. So this workbook is very important in your training as an engine cadet because it serves as an output and task that is in the training record book. Every competency in your workbook has an assigned task will to be filled up and accomplished while you gain practical knowledge and experience. So the training record books and daily journal and the shipboard training program, the objectives is to ensure that all candidates on board on seagoing ship receive systematic practical training and experience in the tasks, duties, and responsibilities relevant to the certification applied for. Number two, to ensure that the onboard training is closely supervised and monitored by the qualified officer on board the ship in which the approved seagoing service earth is performed. And number three is to ensure that onboard training documented in a training record book or similar document. So the training record books journal, there are two methods of assessing the cadet competency shall be done through by number one is the written or computerized examination and number two is an interview or oral assessment so in addition it's a TRB or training record book is to include the candidate personal history page with photo ID ship service record ship data sheet onboard training officers review of training progress an inspection of record book form for the company's training and senior officer so on the first page of your training record book there is a uh, engine cadet uh, personal information you have to fill up your name home date of birth and also the place of birth your email as well your mobile number you have to also to fill up here in the right side your is the cadet school information Say, for example, the John B. Laxon Maritime Foundation University in the Training Center, which is located in the MX Del Pilar Street, Molo, Ilis Molo Ilis City, Philippines. You have to also write down the, your uh, board, the TRBCN, and also the Siemens book number, what we call the SRB number, school ID number, passport number, and as well the SRC, and now is a SRN number date recognized and batch year also the name and in the lower part you have to write down also the name of the vessel your present vessel and previous vessel and the nationality of the vessel say for example it's a monrovia or panama flag as well you have to fill up also the gross standards or and kilowatt and the company agency name and when you sign on and when you sign off when you are in the vessel as well the name of the master 
be sure that is, there is a signatory of the master. So our PRP and our um, function one, marine engineering operational level, there is a competency number one is to maintain a safe engineering watch. So there is an activity is the conduct the watch and also the output objective. Say for example, the number one is to assist with the duties at, of the engineer officers on seagoing watches as well the port watches. So you have also this the instruction. Number one is the written report for monitoring machinery equipment in the system conform to manufacturer's recommendations and accepted principles and procedures. Next, uh, number two instruction is to describe any parameters and the machinery that needs attention. So your output standards is to make a report for monitoring machinery equipment and system. And uh, the number two is the reflection on operational errors and fault condition. So next is the competency number two under the operational marine engineering at the operational level is the use of the English and oral form. So there is an activity also the TRB reference based in your TRB book and the, there is also output the objectives. Number one is to assist completion of ship's plan maintenance system record in English. And list of English language publication or manual use. So there is also instruction. List of publication of manual on board relevant to the engineering duties are currently interpreted. So your output standards is Number one is the written report of completion of ship plan maintenance system record in English. So in the competency, number three is a use of internal communication under also the marine engineering at the operational level. There is an also activity in, is to operate of all internal communication system on board. And there is an output objective and also this an instruction write a written report on internal message system to send and receive information or instruction so your output standards is a written report of internal message system so the next competency is the competency number four is to operate main and auxiliary and associated control system so there is an also output objectives. So after the completion of this activity, you will be able to draw schematic arrangement of the engine system using blocks to indicate the main components. So there is instruction also to skits schematic arrangement of the engine system. And as well your output standard schematic diagram of the engine systems at sea project and number two is the record of steering gear and telegraph testing and number three is the records of the main auxiliary preparation so the next competency is the competency number five is to operate fuel lubrication balance and under piping system and associated control system there is also TRB reference activity number as well the output objectives and as well the instruction and the output standard. So next is the competence number seven is the maintenance of repair of electrical electronic equipment. There is an also output objectives instructions as well the output standards. And uh, next is the competency number eight is regards about the appropriate use of hand tools, machine tools, and measuring instrument for publication and repair on board. So there is an output objectives as well the instruction and also the output standards. So next competency. 
is the competency number nine is the maintenance and repair ship board man- machinery and equipment. So the output objective, after the completion of the act- activity, you will be able to explain what is required in a plan maintenance system. So the instruction is to make plan maintenance system of your ship's machinery and describe how items if spare gear are stored and maintained in good condition and your out standard maintenance plan system and written report of spare gear stored next competency is the application of leadership of teamwork skills there is also activity is a written report and the output standard as well the instruction say for example the instruction you have to read the sms safety manuals and relevant manual of your vessels so your output standards after completion of this activity you will be able to outline procedure and measure on board will ensure leadership and team working skills will be culture on board include sample activity measure and procedure so you can, if uh, there is no space to answer you have to produce a one band paper to be inserted again your trb pages next competency is the competency is 11 ensure the compliance of the pollution pro- prevention requirements it's also a written report there is also output standard and as well the instruction and you can answer it here be sure that you will follow the instruction that you read this mss manual and relevant manual of your vessel so write your answer on the space provided so you can also include pictures of the marble activity drills and other information can be included on the answer so next competency is the competency number 12 under the function of the controlling operation of shipboard care operation on board at the operational level what we call the maintain seaworthiness of the ship the activity is a written report and the output standard after the completion of the activity you will be able to describe the practical application and how to maintain the seaworthiness of the ship so there is also instruction based on the sms manual on your vessel and you can answer here next competency is the competency number 13 is the prevent control and tightness fires on board ship under the controlling of the operation of the ships of care person on board of the operation level of this function so there is a, also output standards instruction and you have to answer here and next function is the competency number 14 under the controlling operation of the ship's care operation on board and the operation level also and the competency 14 is to operate life saving appliances there is an output standard instruction and you can answer here also and also the competency 15 is also under the controlling operation of the ship care for person on board at the operation level which is the apply medical first aid on board ship so the activity is the written report and there is an out standard and as well the instruction and all you have to do is to answer again so the last competency is the competency number 16 is to monitor the compliance of the of legislative requirements it's also a written report and there is also output standard instruction and you have to answer here so on board of training record book there there uh, and the c project output you have to write down the date of started the completed and also the title of the c project after that there is also emergency procedures 
guides based on the Section 7 is the engine room emergency procedure trainings and there is an output standard write down the following engine room emergency procedure and training on board ship on the assigned page of this workbook say for example number one is the engine room fire number two is the engine room flooding enclosed space scavenging fire crankcase explosion so the instruction is to read the ship's engine room safety manuals on board and there is also to show your training officer record on board and to request your officer to sign it on every output that you have completed on the training record book. And the last is the emergency procedure checklist. So there is a drill, your duties and responsibilities, the date, time of the drills of training you have to fill up this blank form that will base and the master list and based on the sms manual in your vessel 